Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday, February 16th, <laughs> 2021. I thought I was going to remember it. Darn it. Anyway, hi everyone. It's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. We had a snow day today because on top of the 10 feet of snow we already have, it snowed again last night. <laughs> I'm kidding. There wasn't 10 feet of snow before. It was like two feet of snow. Anywho, so how is everybody doing? For those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn. I like making stitch markers. I live in the Chicago area with my daughter. Her nickname is Carrots Like the Vegetable. And uh, we have quite a few animals, so I call this place the zoo. Um, what else? Uh, some admin stuff. Come and join our Facebook group. Uh, three easy questions to answer, and we have a good time over there. People tell us about all the good sales. Yes, and um, follow me on Instagram and check out my Etsy shop, and I think that's about it. And thanks to everyone who is my yarny friend, um, I, I can't even believe it. Um, for those of you who are new, we hit over 10,000. Uh, they say subscribers. You guys aren't my subscribers. You're my friends. Anyway, we had a really cool giveaway. And uh, there might be a giveaway in this video too. I guess you'll have to check, uh, stick around and find out, right? Anyway, so I got some happy mail. And um, I did some lovies. And I'll tell you about that. And I made some blankets. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> and I've got like a billion whips and I'm in the process of, you can see like there's, it's a mess back there. I'm in the process of making some stitch markers. So um, the place is a disaster. Anywho, let's get to happy mail. Okay, so um, I just opened up the envelopes and took the cards out. So I will show you guys the cards that I received. Um, this first card is from Tracy and she is from Yuba City, California. And there is the card. And there is some tea. Let's see what we got here. We have Tea of Life. Uh, white chai. White chai. Oh, pomegranate, temple fruit, and peppermint orange. <laughs> I'm like, wow, they're all white chai. Thank you so much for the tea. Um, Rose, just a quick note to add my encouragement to what you're doing for wings. I haven't been able to participate, but it's on my to-do list. I bought a big box of tea that was full of different types that I would share. Hopefully you or carrots can enjoy. So I will enjoy them. Thank you so much. Um, for those who are also new, Wings is a domestic violence organization based here in the Chicago area. Uh, everyone um, that's part of this channel donated to Wings last year and Wings has agreed to let us donate again this year. So check below down in the, descri the description box. Um, you can also go check out my last Wings video and that will be a little bit of more information for you. I'm super excited. This month we're collecting little stuffed animals and amigurumi and lovies. Next month it will be uh, makeup bags. Um, so go ahead and check out the last Wings video and you can also check out the Wings playlist. So Tracy, thank you so much for the card and the tea. I will enjoy it. Carrots is not a tea fan. Okay, this next card comes from one of my favorite peeps of all time. Her name is Barbara Leinhardt and she lives on a boat in Florida. And uh, this is the card, very appropriate. And she writes, oh, it's a long one, hang on. Looks like I can read it. <laughs> Hi Rose, I just finished watching your latest, your first Wings video this year. People are so creative. I'm not too good at amigurumi. I'm not either, <laughs> but I keep trying. I don't keep trying. And the donations have given me ideas for patterns to check out. I love your stitch markers, my earrings. I really enjoy your videos too. I may be missing a few. I'm having left knee replacement March 3rd. So I've worked ahead and I'm sending the makeup bags this week and the hair ties at the end of February, right before my surgery. At least that's my plan. I hope you carrots and the zoo are all well. Stay safe, prayers, loves, and hugs, Barbara. So thank you so much. So much Barbara in advance for sending me your stuff for wings and I hope that your surgery goes well okay this next card is from red heart crochet magic from Louisiana so oh look at how cute and look there is a matching sticker on the back of the envelope okay so let's see what this is uh, oh it's a happy Valentine's Day card from her name is Sandy 
and I don't know if she has a channel. If she does, I'll link it down below. Valentine's of pink and red, special words of kindness said, small surprises, funny jokes, paper hearts, and pretty notes. The best part of Valentine's Day is that I get the chance to say, today and for the whole year too, I love having a friend like you. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much, I did. That is the cutest pattern, or pattern, poem. <laughs> oh, Sandy, thank you so much. And if you can leave a comment down below and let us know if you have a channel, that would be awesome, but I will search for it. So thank you so much. Okay, this next card comes from, let's see, someone in Texas. <laughs> oh, it's a birthday card. So for those of you who don't know, I have a birthday this month. I'm not going to tell you what day it is. I pondered what to get you for your birthday. I struggled. I racked my brain. And finally, I decided to heck with it. I don't need this stress. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> it says, Rose, hope it's the greatest birthday. Yarny hugs from Cindy Moelta. I can't read your last name. Cindy M. Thank you so, so much. That is hilarious. I love that card. To heck with it, right? Forget it. All right. This next card is from one of my other favorite peeps. I have a lot of favorite peeps here. This is from Crystal, and she has a channel here on YouTube. It is called Chronically Crocheting, and it's a Valentine's Day card, and this was on the back. I love you too, Crystal. And look at how pretty the card is. She's making these herself, homemade. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. And oh, it opens this way. How unique. Just says, with love from Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. Oh, thank you so much, Crystal. I love it. You're doing a really good job on those cards too. Okay, this next card comes from Elizabeth um, Morrison from Utah says something about Betty Boop. <laughs> and, oh, look at how pretty the card is. You guys, I don't like those just because they're not chocolate. <laughs> it says, because you make life sweet. Wishing you the sweetest treats, the simplest joys, the warmest feelings, and the happiest heart on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's, Rose and Carrots, Betty Boop EM, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I love that card. It's adorable. Okay. Um, oh, this is another one. Oh, it's a birthday card from the same person. Oh, man, Betty, you are so awesome. <clears throat> I just call her Betty. It's Elizabeth. Well, I guess you could be Betty, right? Um, Dear Rose, celebrating the amazing person you are. Happy birthday. I am sending this on my birthday. I hope it arrives in time for your birthday. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. P.S. If not if it doesn't arrive before, happy belated birthday. <laughs> well, you know what? You guys would never know because I didn't tell you when my birthday was. So, But I so appreciate the birthday card. You are so sweet and happy birthday to you too, Elizabeth. Okay, this next card. Here, I'm just going to let you guys look at the front. Ah, how cute. This is from someone in Rhode Island. Let's see who it's from. Cheryl in Rhode Island. Rose, just wanted to send you a smile. Thanks for all you do for our community. Aw, I was thinking about you today, Cheryl. Cheryl, thank you so much. That is such a happy card. I might have to put that on the refrigerator. <laughs> all right, and the last card is from Caitlin Watson. Hi, Caitlin. She's from Montana, and um, Caitlin sends, like, a lot of stuff for wings and stuff. So, And she's sending me a thank you card. I don't know why you guys are sending me a thank you card. You don't have to send me thank you cards. Rose, thank you so much for the stitch markers. I know I pay you for them, but I love them so much. I can't ever wait to see your updates to add more to my collection. I am starting now. You do such a great job. I hope you and Carrots are having a great year so far. Love, Caitlin. Ah, oh, Caitlin, you're so sweet. I love you too. Um, yeah, there's going to be an update really soon because I'm working on it right now. <laughs> so, okay. So I did get another happy mail and it came in this really pretty green envelope. And this is from Cynthia. Cynthia Hansen and she's from Minnesota and she's got a note in here it says hi Rose I came across these charms when ordering from Hobby Lobby they were all on sale so I couldn't resist them I have bought several stitch markers from you so thought you could put them to good use stay safe and well your yarny friend Cindy Hansen Cindy you're so sweet so let me show you what she put in the envelope you guys are so sweet you don't ever have to send me anything seriously Okay, so that's empty. So she's, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I have some of these on my Etsy shop right now, you guys, made into stitch markers. I think they're so pretty. 
And then she sent these, which are, oh, there's hearts and crosses and happy. Okay, I can't read them. <laughs> she sent me those. Oh, and these pretty buttons. Beads? Beads. Those are really big. Um, and then these cool tassels. Very nice. And then peace signs. And I have some peace sign stitch markers on my Etsy shop right now. So, um, by the way, if, if I ever show anything on a video and you are interested in stitch markers, just send me an email so that I can make some and put some aside for you. Um, in the process of making all these stitch markers, I think I have like 20 custom orders that um, like someone saw the charms when I was doing a video and they said, oh, I want those. So feel free to do that anytime you see something that you like. Okay, this is... It says, a gift for you. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope you can use these for your stitch markers from Linda Mello. Oh, so it's like a, from Amazon. Oh, how cool. Um, oh, wow. Okay, Linda, thank you so much. You didn't have to do this. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I don't know if these are the same or not. Let me see. I think these are the same, but they are like these gold charms. Looks like there's little lips in there and apples and peace signs and all kinds of stitch markers. And she sent two of them. I'm not stitch markers, charms. Wow, Linda, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I could spend a week making <laughs> stitch markers from these. Wow, they're so cool. Oh, I see like a whale tail in here and see starfish and music notes. Oh my God, that's going to be so much fun to go through. Thank you so much, Linda. I appreciate it. Okay, last happy mail. It's not really happy mail because I made the purchase. <laughs> it came in this big envelope and this is from one of my new favorite people here on YouTube. Her name is Jennifer and her channel is called Crafty Bones. So if you guys don't know who she is, you need to go and check her out. I'm going to link her down below. She's so talented. <clears throat> I don't think she lives that far. I mean, she's in Ohio, so I guess that's far. But one day, we're going to meet up and go, like, yarn shopping. <laughs> Got that, Jennifer? <laughs> anyway, she was um, she is a sewer, and she was making project bags, and she was showing some of these project bags that she made. By the way, Jennifer donated 11 project bags for wings. So, you guys, if you want to see all those bags, go check out the last wings update video. Um, but she was showing a different bag on here, and I'll tell you why I got it. But she sent me a card. Today will be great. And it says, thanks for buying bags for me. I really am grateful for your support from Jennifer. So she was showing these bags, and I had to get them because, and you'll see why, my sister um, is a police officer, but she is also an Ironman. So for those of you who don't know what an Ironman is or an Ironman athlete um, they do this crazy thing called an Ironman event. <laughs> it's men and women. And what they do is they, um, they swim like two miles and it's usually in open water. They, um, bike ride for, is it, um, 120 miles, 140 miles, something like that. And then they do a complete marathon. So they run 26.2 miles. This is all back to back. This is not like one day you do this, one day you do this. This is all right back to back. Now I do triathlons, but there are sprint triathlons. So she does like 50 times more than what I do. Anyway, long story long, Jennifer was showing these um, zip bags and they had bicycles on them. And my sister loves to bicycle. So she loves to ride a bike. <laughs> so I got these beautiful bags for her. So Jennifer, thank you so much. These are just gorgeous. I don't know what she's gonna use them for. Um, probably not at the triathlons, but um, they're awesome. She can put all kinds of stuff in there and they're so nicely made. So Jennifer, thank you so much for letting me buy those bags from you. I really appreciate it. Okay, so um, I made some lovies. Now, for those of you who are new and have not seen them before, I'm going to show them to you. I will tell you that the person who um, made the tutorial for this, it's a video tutorial here on YouTube, and I will link it in the description box down below, is Z, Zelda NRJ3. Hi, Z Bear. And um, I have introduced many, many people to uh, this tutorial, and lots and lots of people love to make 
these lovies. So let me show you what I did. I did just a few. Um, if you if you don't remember my last wings update, I think I did like eight or nine or 10 of these and I already donated those to wings. So let me show you the new ones that I have. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Um, I don't know what it is. I am in love with Dumbo and I just, I don't know why I cannot bring myself to keep these, but every time I show these, <laughs> sorry, there's a bunch of them here. Um, every time I show these, I wind up selling out on my Etsy shop. So I went and found two more of these. So I have two Dumbos that are uh, available and up in my Etsy shop. And for those of you who are new, I'm gonna show you how these work. So you can use any stuffed animal that you want. And what happens is you take a ponytail holder and you crochet around the ponytail holder. You see how this is stretchy and you make a granny square or whatever else you want. Um, if you're part of my Facebook, Facebook group, you will see that people have done other patterns besides a regular granny square. So you just crochet around the ponytail holder and then you take your little stuffed animal. It doesn't have to be a tie. It doesn't have to be a beanie boo. It can be whatever it is that you want. And you just take this and you put it over their head. And then the little kid that gets it can drag it around and have a good time with it and um, see it's got like the full body underneath there so they can hold on to it however they want and then when it gets dirty mom or dad can take this off and throw it in the wash so i made two dumbos because who doesn't love dumbo i'm just saying okay so two dumbos and then i was at hobby lobby and i found dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You guys, I don't even watch The Mandalorian. I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I couldn't resist these guys. There's two of them. Like, what is he wearing? He's wearing like a neck warmer. Come on, man. It's not that cold. <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys, it was 30 below zero this past weekend in Chicago. Whatever. All right, so I found these two guys, and I had to buy them and turn them into lovies, and one of them is already spoken for, I think. So um, how cute are they? So let me just show you. I mean, he's got, like, his little arms and his little neck warmer, and he's, like, a full body, like, you know, he's full body full body Yoda Mandalorian guy, whatever this guy, what is this guy called? I don't even know. <laughs> so I've got two of him done. And then um, also at Hobby Lobby, they had these adorable dinosaurs. Now I'm not a dinosaur fan, but I couldn't resist. Okay. So there's this lovely lady. I don't know what she's called a triceratops or something. So there's her and she's also a full, whoops, she's full. Of, these are all full lovies because I stink at Amigurumi. So I just make lovies, guys. Here's a little blue guy and here is a purple guy, whatever his name is. They didn't have names. How cute are these guys? Look at that. I mean, come on. What little boy or girl would not want these dinosaurs? And I found this beautiful little foxy thing. And I just had to make a lovey out of this one too. So anyway, so those are my loveys. <laughs> so um, then I made some blankets. So let me clear off the table and I'm gonna show you the blankets I made. Okay, so the first blanket I'm gonna show you is um, made with yarn from a mystery box that I received from Kramer. Whoops. My blankets are all falling from Kramer Yarns. Um, I don't have, I didn't look it up to see like what it was or what the content was, but I'm going to show you guys. It looks exactly like um, homespun, which um, I'm going to be nice and I'm going to call it homespun. <laughs> I usually call it something else, but here I'm going to show you guys. This is exactly like homespun. Okay, so there were no ball bands, no labels. It was in a mystery box. It was, um, I don't even know when it was. There were three different colors in my mystery box. Um, and um, I hate working with homespun because I can't see my stitches. So I wanted to use up this yarn. And so what I did is I used an eight millimeter hook, Susan Bates inline aluminum, my favorite. 
and I just made a granny rectangle because I didn't want to have to bother trying to search for stitches. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, I just kind of finagled it. I tried to use as much of the yarn as I could. It looked like it came in like, um, you know, like a ball like this, like a skein, um, except there were no labels on it. And there was like five of each color-ish. So I'm not sure how much yarn there was. But anyway, I made a granny rectangle. So here it is. <laughs> it's really big. It's hard to see it. I used the brownish color first, then the red, and then the green. And I had enough left over to do like a couple rows of the brown again. So I'm going to go take a picture of this. By the way, it's really, really soft and warm. And I can tell why people like it. I just don't I don't want to ever use this yarn again. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go take a picture, a couple pictures, and I'll insert those right here. Okay, so the next four blankets that I finished. I'm like I'm on a blanket making kick. This is, these are all the same. Um, oops, hold on. Okay, they're all the same pattern and it is called, I don't remember what it's called. It is from Little John's Yarn and it is called like the Hexagon Puff um, I will link it down below, but anyway, it's just a hexagon puff blanket. I'm going to show you. Um, I did use a, let's see what size hook. I used a six millimeter hook on all of these, um, single stranded, and I will show you the yarn that I used, but here I'll show you the first one. <laughs> so this is using Mandala Happy, and I love it. It does make me happy. I did put a black border on it because I thought that would be like black light neon type things. Anyway, <laughs> it's really big. I just love it. Um, this is the yarn, Mandala Happy. So I used one, two, three, four, five, and so almost six cakes of the Mandala Happy yarn, and then I put a black border on it. And so I will go take a picture of this on the bed, and I will insert it here so you can see what it looks like. But I love it. It's so squishy. Here, you know what? I'll just show you close up. Um, you guys, it's so squishy and soft. I just love it. Okay, here are the pictures. Okay, so this next one is this pink one right here. Oh my gosh, it looks like bubble gum. I just love this. You guys, I love the pattern. I just love it. It was so easy to do, so simple. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I'll show you the yarn that I used for this. But here is that. It's just super, super easy. Um, this I used Bernat Value Big Stripes. And the color on this is called Candy Floss. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight and a half cakes of this. And these are 252 yards each. So that is a lot of yarn. <laughs> And I will go take a picture of this and I will insert the pictures right here. So this last, not last one, third one, because <laughs> I have four of these, um, I will show you what it looks like. This is like blues and pinks and reds and you guys can see what it looks like there's a little splotches of white in there um this was i don't remember where i got this but it came like this with no label um it's definitely 
thin, a thinner four or even like a three. It's not mandala. I don't know what it is. Um, I think I have like three more of them. Um, I used like, there was no ball band. So I don't remember how many, I think I used like six or something like that or seven. Um, so this is what it looked like in the cake form. Um, I, I don't know. I wasn't thrilled working with it. The mandala ombre was really, really nice to work with. And the Bernat stripe was also really nice to work with. Um, so I probably wouldn't, I'll probably put this in a giveaway <laughs> at some point. Um, but it was, it was okay. And it turned out really, really pretty. So I will go take pictures and I'll put them in here. Okay, so this last one, oh my gosh. Okay, so this last one here, I'll hold it up for you guys so you can see it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't wanna give this one up. Okay, so this one is also made with mandala ombre, which is this, and the color is called Zen. And I only had three of them. So I used all three, and then in between the Zen, because this is the Zen right here. I tried to find some greens to match. So this green right here is a discontinued big twist value called light teal. So I used, let's see, I used one full one and almost a full one here. And that's for this, this stripe right here. Okay, so this is a mandala zen. This is the green. Here's some more mandala zen. Some more of this light teal. And then for the border, I used this color, which is called medium teal, also by Big Twist Value. So I dug into my stash to match this. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. Like I think the colors work really well together. So let me go take a picture and I'll insert those right here. Okay, so that's enough of blankets. I actually have a couple more that are almost completed. So hopefully the next time I see you guys, I can show you them. Now you might ask, why am I making so many darn blankets? Um, so a couple weeks ago, uh, there was someone, a friend of a friend on Facebook who said her father-in-law was sick and I really wanted to um, provide a blanket for him so that he could have some comfort. And uh, I said I was coming with the blanket and she said, wow, mom-in-law is gonna be a little bit jealous. So that was two blankets out the door that I was able to gift. I was really excited. Um, my daughter wants to gift each one of her teachers this year at high school a blanket. So that's six that I need right there. <laughs> and just like random stuff pops up. So I like having the extra blankets just so that I can have them ready for gifting. Um, okay, so enough of the blankets. I went to the Dollar Tree because everyone is talking about yarn and my Dollar Tree had a whole section of yarn and I only wanted to pick up a few things um, and I'll show you what I picked up. They had the Crafter's Secret brand. They also had these like little tubes with like little tiny balls in there, which I'm not sure what you would do with that. Um, they had like twine on spools um, and they had this um, Premier Just yarn. So I'm just gonna show you, I just picked up a few and the reason I picked up only these colors was because they were blue and I'm gonna try and make some hats for Hat Not Hate with them. So I got three of these Just yarn from Premier. For those of you who do not have a Dollar Tree by you, it is made by Premier. It's 131 yards, 120 meters, 100% acrylic. Um, Machine wash, warm, tumble dry, normal heat. They recommend a five and a half millimeter hook. Made in Turkey. This color is called blueberry. And then they also had some of this flowers yarn. So a lot of people are finding these. I picked up four and I picked them up in the color blue. Um, I think I'm probably gonna combine these and make hats with those. 
So the Just Yarn Flowers is 111 yards, 102 meters, 52%. Oh, this one is 100% acrylic. Sorry, guys. This one is 52% acrylic, 48% polyester. They're both number four yarns. Machine wash cold, lay flat to dry. Maybe this won't be good for hats. Um, they recommend a 5.5 millimeter. Color is called Blue Sprinkle, made in Turkey. So that's all I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, and the only reason I picked it up was to make hats for Hat Not Hate. So. So that is it, you guys. Um, if you stuck around this long, <laughs> we're gonna have a giveaway. I know, I know, we just did one. Um, but it's my birthday month. And the reason I did not post on my birthday is because I didn't want anyone to send me anything. I didn't want to tell you guys when it was because I didn't want to, you to send me anything. So anyway, I know a couple of you already did and I do appreciate it. So we're gonna do a giveaway and it's gonna be because it's my birthday month giveaway. I'm also gonna tell you a little secret I'm gonna also have a giveaway going up tonight on my Instagram and in the Facebook group so if you're not following me on Instagram go follow me there if you're not a part of the Facebook group please come and join you have to answer three questions to join um, all of the giveaways that are going on for my birthday are going to be US only I apologize for that um, so I'm going to show you the giveaway for the YouTube. I'm not going to show you the giveaway for the other two. You'll have to go over there and check them out. Now this might look familiar to you because it was actually a giveaway that was supposed to be done for something. Wings? I don't know. It was another giveaway on our channel and the person who won was actually international. So she wound up getting a gift card and I still have the yarn from that giveaway. Um, so I'm going to show you what's in here. Um, you guys might remember Super Saver Ombre <laughs> yarn. Uh, and here is, whoops, let's see here. We have Super Saver Ombre. There are four of these that are going to be in this giveaway. There are also some crochet hooks. I split them up. So there's these crochet hooks right here. These were all donated. And I also have a set of stitch markers. So my stitch markers will be going in that box as well. So thank you so much for anyone who has sent birthday wishes. Um, here are the rules, really simple. I'll put the rest of the rules down below. You have to be subscribed to my channel. I will check if your settings are private and I can't see that you're subscribed, then I will move on to the next person. There will be only one winner. You have to be over 18. If you could please like this video and share it, that would be awesome. If you um, can make a comment, please do not say the word giveaway. Do not say thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your gift. I appreciate what you're doing. Don't say any of that because I want you guys who are the actual subscribers to win like i mean i know there's only one winner but once you say giveaway in there then people will start commenting who don't care about anything else so make a comment about something you saw on this video um, whether it be the loveys the blankets the dollar tree whatever it is that you want to comment about just please don't say giveaway in the in your comment um so this giveaway is open starting today and it looks like um People don't like watch videos after like two or three days. So I'm actually gonna end this on February 21st. Remember it's US only. And I wish everybody the best of luck. Remember only one winner. And I think I have enough to do a wings update video. <laughs> so you'll probably see me in a couple days with some more stuff for wings. And I think that's it. I want you guys to have a great night. If you have any questions, please um, leave it in the comments or you can email me at roselexcrochet at gmail.com. See you on Instagram and the Facebook group. Bye guys.